you want. A lot of protein for real cheap. Three pounds, five bucks, already cooked. You can't beat that shit. That's going to be my first attempt at a uh, relatively useful video, if you didn't already know it or think about it. And as you can see, it's going to be about that rotisserie chicken. Look at that meat. All right, so first up, going to need some supplies that's going to make this easier, cleaner and quicker so you can see you get some gloves you can get these from any store or pharmacy some kitchen shears help and a scale will help you measure it out if you, you're into that type of stuff and not pictured or listed is uh, some baggies and extra plates and all that but as you can see I, I kind of have to figure that out here don't forget to glove up first. And bef before you just start ripping your chicken apart, check out them strings. Get the strings off. And uh, the easiest way to do this for me is uh, to have uh, one uh, container for white meat and one container for dark meat. And I just start tearing it up. Tearing it up to turn it up. Tear up, turn up, tear up, turn up. The reason I split it into dark and white meat is uh, I leave the white meat for times when I need the leaner meat with less fat, like especially after a workout. Um, and the dark meat is just kind of my general meat to go with meals, especially on my off days. But if you're not at that level of being picky of when you have your meats, and it doesn't matter a whole lot, but it does matter to an extent, which is why I do it. But if you're not there yet, you can just tear it all up and mix it all up together. If you're thinking why wouldn't I just buy raw meat and cook it it's cheaper isn't it actually these rotisserie chickens when you weigh out I've weighed out the meat it ends up being at cost of the best prices I've seen for chicken but it's already cooked and usually tastes pretty good so technically it's cheaper and if you go to Costco or Sam's and get the big chickens it is most definitely cheaper than the cheapest you'll see even if you buy in bulk I would know I used to buy 10 15 pounds of frozen chicken from Costco and Sam's at a time this is still cheaper and I don't have to thaw it I don't have to cook it now besides that I love it for its versatility if you can eat it by itself obviously and uh, right after you get it it's really good but refrigerate it I separate it in baggies and uh, just pull from the chicken when I need it. Put it in sandwiches, soups, salads, leftovers, or I'm gonna go over some recipes where you can use this stuff in uh, future episodes. And there you can see that's almost a pound of cooked breast. This video is so bad, but uh, hopefully they get better, right? But wait, there's more. Thanks for watching.